Hello there. This is a short tutorial on how to change your texture and export using the CPM mod. So first off, we open the skin editor, which is up here, and then you have to either create your project file or load, uh, you know, your one in. So I'm going to load a project file here. Okay, there we go, the model. Now, let's say we want to update the skin. So we go over here to the top where it says texture. This is the texture file. You can edit your skin here or skin settings right here. Save the skin. The, click the three dots now save wherever you want to save the file and name it whatever you want I'm just going to go for test here and now if we go to the folder test right here yep there's our skin so now we can open it up into our program and then we can edit it just like that. Now save the skin. Yep. And then we go over here under skin settings and click reload. And there we go. We ruined our skin. <laughs> but let's say that's fine. And we are ready to use it. All we have to do is hit file export. Now you'll have to change your vanilla skin by clicking I'll go the slower. Change vanilla skin. This is the skin that people will see if they don't have the CPM mod. So open the skin. Then you click the three dots again and find wherever you, whatever skin you want to use, whatever vanilla skin. So I have a version of the skin here without the wings and all that. Add skin to list. We'll add it over here, which you can do if it's your main character. I'm not going to bother with that, so select. There's our vanilla skin. That's step one. Step two is to click these three dots right here, and we have to click these three dots again, and select where we want to save our real skin. This is the skin file that we'll use to actually change well, on the Minecraft launcher or minecraft.net this is the skin file that you will upload in order to change your skin to this model so let's let's put it as real skin just for fun now right there it's exporting as real skin and it by the way you want it to be on export mode skin right here if it's not you just click either right here until it goes here. Then you click export. Now you can either upload to GitHub, which is what I normally do, but you need a GitHub account, which requires a smartphone to use. However, you can just upload to Paste as well, which is a Paste site ran by the creator of this mod. So change it whatever you want. Oh. Whoopsies, hold on a sec. So now we'll click export. And I usually upload to GitHub. But you need a GitHub account, obviously, for that. Which you need access to a smartphone because GitHub requires two-factor authentication through your smartphone. But you can also just upload paste which will upload to a pastebin site that is ran by the creator of this mod the CPN mod, Tom so that's what we'll do here we'll just name this whatever you, whatever you want test now it's connecting, uploading and voila, there we go now if you go up here to edit and then paste 
it'll connect to the paste site and right there you can see test and you can also see that you can have a maximum of 15 and a max file size which is in part why I use github but you can also go to the discord and on the CPM discord you can request more space by doing the command slash paste dash register anyway let's say that we want to change our skin again so we'll do that we'll change it back here reload and also we'll check this out over here this is our real skin right here this is the skin that you will want to upload to your minecraft launcher or minecraft.net and use as your skin file the reason why is that right here in the black bits right here these have an encoded link to either the paste or the github where the actual model information and texture file is uploaded so anyway let's say that we want to do an update we want to export an update without having to change our skin so what we do is we change our vanilla skin open it to this real skin file right here that was created by the last one by the last export and now you see it has the little black bits right here with the little colored squares that encode to the URL and now we can instead of we don't need to export a new file now we just export an update and it'll upload and there we go easy as that your skin will be updated you can also export and upload but this doesn't in my experience doesn't always work it's supposed to export and change your skin but I find that it's better to just change your skin through the launcher by using this skin file yep so that's it easy as that you can also obviously do animations and everything else whatever you want to do and then you just export it the other options here for model are mostly for uploading to the server and this one is for map making makers so make sure that you're on skin if you have any questions just let me know bye <laughs>